what you're going to do is draw a hill that has a valley in front and a valley in back. We'll start with an easy number. We'll go with 38 and round it to the nearest tens place. Three is in the tens place. So we're going to write a three at this first valley and there's one digit afterwards. So we're going to put one zero. Now we're going to count up by, since we're doing tens, the tens place, we're going to count up by tens. 30, 40, and we'll write a 40 on the other valley. Now all we need is the number that comes in the middle, which is 35. Now we've made kind of a curvy number line, and all we need to do is find 38. So 30, 35, 38 will be right about here. And I'm going to draw a car. Now if this were a toy car, then, and I let it go, it would fall down the mountain and land right here at 40. So 38 rounded to the nearest tens place is 40. Let's try that with another number, 32. So we'll look on our number line. We find 32, probably right about there. We'll make our car. Let it go. And it's gonna, this time it's gonna go backwards and it's gonna fall at 30. So 32 rounded to the nearest tens place is 30. Now what would happen if we had a number that was right on top of the hill, a number that ended in five, like 35? We're gonna put our car right on top of the hill at 35. When this happens, all we need to do is give it a little push with our finger forward and then it'll just go down the mountain and it lands on 40. 35 rounded to the nearest tens place is 40. Now what would happen if we wanted to make round a larger number like a number in the hundreds place? Let's do the number 427. So what we're going to do is we underline the number in the hundreds place which is a 4. We'll write that here. There's one, two digits after that, so I'm going to do one, two zeros. Since it's the hundreds place, we're going to count up by hundreds. 400, 500. And now we just put the number in the middle, which is 450. You'll always put a five right after your number, and that's how you know what goes in the middle. So let's find 427. Um, let's see, 400, 450, 427 would probably be right about here. I'm going to put my car in here, let it go, and 427 goes eh, back down to 400. 427 rounded to the nearest 100 is 400. This works really well with really big numbers as well. So let's try rounding 68,000. 799 and we're going to round this to the nearest ten thousands place. So you'll just do the same thing. You're going to write your six, the number you underlined, and then count how many digits come after. One, two, three, four. So that's one, two, three, four zeros. Sixty thousand. So up here we're going to write seventy thousand and in the middle we'll write sixty five thousand. Now we have our number line. And all we need to do is find where 68,000 is going to fall, which is maybe right about here. We'll make our little car, its little wheels. We're going to let go, and it will go forward to 70,000. And that's how you round numbers with the cars and hills trick.